Day 25. This close. Like, <laughs> I don't think I've ever really tried that before. I tried to hit three miles uh, in 21 minutes. 21 minutes and 28 seconds. So I mean like I was close, but close doesn't matter. So I gotta do better uh, pacing myself. My first mile was like a 640 and I felt like I was just like chilling. I thought it was like a 730 or seven minutes. Like I thought I was just gonna take the first one easier. So what I need to do next time, cause I don't really like running all that. I don't like, I don't like running. Like let's be real, I don't like running. So I don't do much of a running warm up. Like I stretched this time for like three minutes. I did a slow jog for maybe like a tenth of a mile just to get out of my parking lot, out of the neighborhood a little bit. And then I just went straight into it. And I think I wouldn't be, I think it wouldn't be so hard for me after like a mile and a half if I had a better warm up. So I gotta do that. And I had a snack too early to this. Like, honestly, like the whole third mile, I thought I was gonna throw up. Like my stomach was just like, it, it, like, it hurt, I don't know, I guess too full. But, you know, I, even going up the bridge a little bit, you can't really see it back there, but going on the bridge a little bit, like, I finished with barely over a seven minute pace, which for my first attempt, like I'm, I'm cool with that, knowing where I am and knowing what my goals are, like that's fine. But, you know, it's like, it's like next time, there's no excuse, this is 30 seconds. Like I, you can chop off 30 seconds. That's only 10 seconds a mile. Like that should be, that should be no problem. So I just gotta make sure I, I, I'm more on top of it next time. Pace myself better, whatever I gotta do. Now it's about to start raining too. Today is day 25. I should put that at the beginning of the video. So once I'm done with this, I gotta remember to stop the video and then start another one and say, today is day 25, so I can put that right, cut it in the front. That's fine. Uh, yeah, one third of the way through this thing. Like, it's crazy. I can tell, um, I'm really becoming just a lot more fortified in a lot of ways. A lot of, uh, very non-compromising. Particularly with the, the core principles that I have, like different things, the way that I start my morning, uh, my Bible time, the way that I finish my night, all this with my Bible time, my nightly prayer. Like I haven't missed that. I haven't skipped. And especially at night, I've been a lot more intentional now, which is, which is great. That's exactly why I'm doing this. So I can make sure I'm, I'm at the level that I need to be, I'm blocked in and everything. Now, you know, we're, we're talking about it a little bit with, with some people around me. They say, you know, you always, you always move so fast. You know what I feel like right now? Like, just think about it for a second. You're cruising down the freeway, you put cruise control on. What's the fastest that you've ever had cruise control on while you're driving? Like maybe it's 70, maybe it's 80, maybe it's 90. What's the fastest that you've ever used cruise control for? I think for me, I think for me, either on one of my cross country trips or a drive down to Miami, like I've definitely used cruise control at least 110, at least 110. And it's just like open road, I'm just cruising. It's just my car is just chilling. We're just, we're just gliding. That's what I feel like right now. Like, I feel like I'm just gliding, but at 110 miles an hour. So that means it's time to gas it even more. Because if I'm gliding at 110, man, we better, we better get started, right? There's not really anything else on my mind right now. I just know that uh, I'm wiped out, man. Last night I went to sleep. I, could, I, didn't, I didn't get home until like quarter to two. I did my nightly, nightly routine. I got my food ready for today. I started my laundry. I took a shower. I read my nightly psalm. I did my nightly prayer. You know, I made FaceTime. Like, just happened after three o'clock at that point. And then I get up at quarter to seven today and I'm in the gym and I did my workout, but I arrived at the office. I got there like, got to the office at like 9.20, 9.25 today, which 
you know, it is what it is. I finish my stuff. I get my, I get my work done. And I don't think anybody cares. I mean, maybe my, my, my coworkers might care, but like I get results. So I don't, it's, it's not that important to me. You know, I, I know what I need to do and I get it done. And I'm gonna have a little bit of work this weekend, but that's the choice. Uh, you know, consequence, whatever, trade off. And then, and then tomorrow I got a, I got a seven o'clock workout. Seven o'clock outdoor workout. Same thing I did last week, but you know, this time I'm gonna come ready. I, I know it's 30 minutes now, so now I'm bringing my weight vest. And after those 30 minutes are up, I got a mile at least. Maybe I got two miles. I don't know what I got in me. I don't know what I got in me, so I'll figure that out tomorrow. But look, Jeezy said in his song, in uh, Entrepreneur, he says, I've been up 30 days a month with no coffee. That's how I feel. I don't drink caffeine. I don't eat caffeine. I don't do energy drinks. I don't eat a lot of sugar. I don't take naps. Like, man, this is, this is just like, everyone operates differently, but this is the way that I do it. Jesus said in his song, he said, I've been up 30 days a month with no coffee. That's how I feel right now. I look myself in the mirror and I say, why are you not tired? Like, I know I'm tired, but why am I not tired? It's not like I'm stopping for gas. It's like, I'm gonna keep going. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's different different preferences and everything like that. I don't know what you want to call it, but that's what I call it. It's a different preferences for right now. I know this weekend what I want to do. I got a book. I'm on page. Uh, it's called Getting Things Done by David Allen. Great book. I've been reading it for a couple weeks. And yeah, great book. But I'm on page like 150, 160 maybe. Maybe 170. There's like 250 pages in the book. So, you know, I got two and a half days now, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I got to get this book done. That's it, I gotta get this book done. I got another audio book, uh, The Lost Art of Closing. This one by Anthony somebody. Anthony somebody, he was just on a, on a video, on a webinar with uh, Oren Cloth. So I'll listen to that, of course, I love Oren. But I'll probably finish that book this weekend too. And then, you know, it's, what else? I got the outdoor workout with um, Mayweather Fitness. So that's the outdoor boxing workout. On Sunday, I got an outdoor workout with my guy before I go to church. And then, you know, so, so the weekend I'll be doing my morning work, my outdoor workouts in the morning, which has been a nice, nice change compared to uh, the evenings during the week, usually, usually. And beyond that, I mean, it's just, it just keep plugging away. I think I feel right now, I feel very just content with the consistency. It's like when you, uh, when you're turning butter and you just keep turning, you keep turning. Now that, now that makes me think of something that Big Crit said. He said he said in his song, um, what song? Been Waiting. He said in his song, Been Waiting, which is uh, from his album Forever is a long time, I think, a couple years ago. He said, been waiting on my turn, life. He said, been waiting on my turn, life is butter, let it turn. That's what it is, man. Life is butter, let it turn. Like I'm just turning right now. I'm just turning and turning and turning and turning, and I'm just gonna keep going. And I'm having fun with it too. Like that's the crazy part. I'm having fun with this work. And that's what uh, you know, Andy Frisella said that. He said, you know, he craves the hardest pack. And, I, and you think about it, you know that the hardest pad, the hardest pad gets the best results. So, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get on that level, and then surpass it. Every day, every day, like no breaks. Every day, he's missed, he said he missed in the last 365 days. I think he missed one or two days of 75 hard. He's done two 45 minute workouts, drank gallon of water, did a progress picture, read 10 pages, and had 100 percent commitment to his meal plan. Meal plan, 363 out of 365 days. Are you serious? Like, if he can do it running nine companies. Married, couple dogs, has a bunch of cars, like, what? Why can't I do it? Why can't I do it then? You know what I mean? 
that's all it is. I think I gotta, I think I gotta get off this thing and I gotta run another mile. We're gonna do it slow, maybe like eight minutes, eight and a half minutes, but I got, I got more in me, so I gotta make sure that I, I gotta, I gotta make sure I get my hundred percent. And if I do this right, I'll be really close to getting five miles in 45 minutes again. So we'll see what I can do. God bless.